Hey, what is going on guys, Darius here, and welcome to a new tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be teaching you to play around with actions and kind of make your own filter packs to use in uh, your images in the future. So if you already made one, then um, it's cool because you can use that in all of your images. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So just bring an image inside of uh, Photoshop. First things first, go to Window and then click on Actions. If you don't have the Actions uh, button anywhere, which is this uh, kind of like Play YouTube Play button, and you're gonna want to add a group, and uh, you're gonna call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Set One from now. Before you start making the action, make sure you test it. You test out some uh, effects and see what you're going to add, because the action is going to record everything. So I'm going to, for example, uh, test out some gradient maps and see how it looks. And if I like it, I'm going to add it into the action. So let me see here, rainbow uh, on 8% uh, opacity. That looks good. It definitely changes the mood uh, and uh, that's what we want. And I'm gonna add some more effects. So let's just hop into it right now. So I'm going to uh, click on my button here, which is create new action and everything is going to be recorded. So I'm gonna name this action blue so i'm going to go for a blue theme in this action right and uh, which is what i want it to apply to my other images so it's going to uh select your background image that you're having right now and i'm going to start by adding uh some greeting maps so i'm going to add for example no no let's start with some haze and the action see the action remembered this remember that i added the gradient map and then removed it so i can add the um exposure there we go and i'm just going to increase the offset a bit there you go so we kind of get that hazy kind of effect uh let's play around with the curves a bit there we go just a bit of more contrast there we go let's play around with the levels a bit levels are fun a bit darker there we go and i don't know some uh color balance Let's play out with the midtones, add some more green, some more blue. There we go, because blue is kind of our theme that we're going right now. Let me see here what else we got. Um, we got hue and saturation. No, I'm not going to touch that one. Let's see here. Brightness and contrast. We can definitely use some contrast inside of the image. There we go. And see how the image now has kind of like a, a dark uh, mood, kind of like alienish and stuff, which is what we want. Um, now the action has saved all these. So what you want to do at the end, if you have many effects uh, in a row, simply hold shift and press on the first one. Like when you have the first layer selected, the, the topmost layer, hold shift and press the last one um, that uh, is on the bottom uh, before the image. And now press control and G on the keyboard to group them. And these are going to be your effects. And what I always like to do is add a black and white one because I want to see my picture in black and white. Um, so I just add a black and white layer and then I kind of play around with uh, the uh, colors here and kind of make something brighter, something darker, you know. Uh, this is personal adjustment though, so uh, don't worry about it because you're, you're going to need to adjust this to the image that you have. It's not going to be the same for every image. So uh, I'm going to hide my uh, black and white layer and now I'm going to go back to my actions here. I just dragged it, so the actual windows, I don't know where, where it was, but I dragged it here on uh, the edge. So, to see how the action recorded everything you just did, now simply press stop, and there you have it. Now you can apply this to other images. So, I have this blue, right? I can go to another image, and I can press play, and this is going to add everything to this image to kind of give it uh, the effect that I gave the other image. So. Since this is a bright image and the other one was a dark image, obviously the effects will be different. So for this image, we're going to be doing something else, obviously. I'm going to show you. And um, let's see this one, how it looks with blue. It looks good. I like this one. It definitely gives it a more homey kind of look. I don't know. <laughs> so for this image, for example, let's see what we can do. Maybe something warm. So since we have blue here, I'm going to make a new image and call this uh, warm, right? and record and now i'm going to add a gradient map i always like to add this rainbow gradient map i don't know why but it just fits pretty much everything this definitely fits um let me see here add some curves maybe there we go make it a bit more intense add some exposure with some haze there we go not that much 
some uh, color balance and we're going to increase the reds a bit and let me see here probably the yellows let's go to the shadows and see if we can get some reds inside just like that and probably i don't know hmm human saturation maybe lower the color a bit lower the saturation now increase it sure Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Grainy map. Let's try another grainy map. Let's try this one. This is warm, warm enough. Let's put it on lighten and see how it goes. That looks good. Maybe on overlay. Sure. A bit darker. It's always good. And I'll play around with the modes here until you find something that you like. I kind of like this one. Let me see what else we got here. We got some curves again. Now let's play with the levels, add a bit of darks inside, just like that. And a bit of highlights. There we go. So it kind of made this image more contrasted. And let's take this one up a bit, maybe. Just like that. And then uh, that's about it. You know, you can make a group and make a new black and white one on top. And you can play afterwards with it. So, we have our action here. Press stop. And now we can try it out on the other images. So, the set one, we can name it, for example, uh, filters. And it can contain anything. The action can do basically anything for you. So, you don't have to spend so much time on each and every image, you know. Um, the next one. Let me see here. How warm looks. Okay, this actually fits pretty well. Um, black and white, you can also play around with it here. I definitely like the black and white more because it, uh, I don't know, it, it kind of feels right. It doesn't feel fake. So for this one, uh, hmm, let's add a new action. Call it haze. I want to make something really hazy, you know. And uh, I'm going to add some exposure for that, some offset. That's what I used to make my hazy kind of pictures. I'm going to add some levels to remove a bit of the haze. There we go. And I kind of want something warm here. Uh, let's add a photo filter, because why not? Warming filter A1. This looks good. Let's add some uh, curves. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the blue channel. And kind of play around with it to add a bit of blue inside of the picture. Just a tiny bit. Barely noticeable, but still there. So we got some yellow-blue color correction here. And uh, you can play around here. Let's see uh, what else we got. We got levels, curves, exposure, vibrance. Oh, vibrance, definitely. So you can increase the vibrance of the image. So it's uh, very vibrant. <laughs> the colors are just, just pop out. But uh, I'm not going to add that much. Let me lower the saturation, actually. I like this. This is this is really, I don't know, a darkish, but I like it. And I, I just want to keep this one here. There we go. And obviously, always add a black and white one at the top. So, uh, did we save this? No, we don't. Stop. And then we have the haze effect here, which is uh, kind of also dark haze. It went more to the dark side. So let's see how it looks on other images. So the colors are going to be off, obviously. So there we go. We definitely have a haze effect going on. Let me check out on the other image and see how it works. Obviously, it works better on the, the image that you started with or similar images. So make sure to try it out. Try You have three filters right now, right? You made three, so make sure to try it out, try all of them out, and see what looks better for the image that you have. And let's play. And, oh yes, this is perfect. Look at that. This is perfect. Definitely a dark movie kind of look. Super, super. So actions are really fun to play with, uh, especially if you're adding effect and stuff like that. And make a new one. And action one. Whatever, doesn't matter. So I'm going to make a copy of this. And see, it says duplicate current layer, blah, blah, blah. Go to filter and then uh, filter gallery and we're going to try some effects here. We're going to try some artistic effects, cut out, dry brush. Let me see what we got here. Okay, so I kind of like this one. 
paint tabs, poster edges, poster edges. Okay, so let me uh, just play around here with the settings, you know, edge intensity and uh, whatnot. So we got this one, okay? Press OK. And uh, you can now lower the opacity or increase it, you know? So it kind of applies in the background, but not really. So just a little bit, see? It's still there. Or you can play around with the blending modes. You can add an overlay, for example. You know? There we go. I like this, for example. I'm going to add uh, some haze a bit with the exposure using the offset. And I can play around with the colors, right? I can add some uh, color balance and add some blues inside and some greens. I can uh, play around with the saturation and kind of lower it. And if I want to, I can uh, make a new layer on top, go to image, apply image. And this is going to put your image on the entire layer. And now go to filter and then filter gallery again and kind of overlay another effect. You can also overlay effects here. There's uh, poster edges here, for example, and uh, you can add new layers with new effects on top of each other if you want to. So let me see what else looks good. What else do I add, want to add in my image? I kind of like this one, extended edges, right? Mm -hmm. So edge width, uh, this is good how it looks like this. So uh, I can put this on overlay, soft light, whatever, and kind of give it something else of an effect. So let's try this one, just lower the opacity a bit. I like this one. So I'm going to save this action. Well, let me just uh, group these and add a black and white on top and hide it. So I'm going to save my action right now. Stop. There we go. I'm going to call this filters. So that is why it's fun to play around with actions. And uh, I hope that you're going to have fun too. Just you can make your own uh, packs, you know, with filters and I don't know, sell them or uh, give them to people. And uh, so they can also use your image effects and they can apply it to your own images. And this is also good if you have a lot of images and you don't want to go each time and apply the same effect to each and every image. Because if you have all the effects saved here, blue, warm, haze filters, then you can add the blue to everyone. You can add uh, the warm to each and every picture, uh, the haze, everything. So uh, it's just really quick way to uh, use these filters to your advantage. And if you want to save them, just uh, click on the filters here, right? And go on the uh, tiny menu here in the corner, and then you can save the actions, right? Just click on save actions and you're going to save them. And then uh, you're going to import them to Photoshop by either double clicking them or putting it in the presets folder in Photoshop. And uh, yeah, you're good to go and everybody can use it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry my voice is kind of weird because I don't know. I think I'm getting sick slowly. <laughs> well, uh, that's about it. Cheers, guys.